Greetings to all peoples and kingdoms of Ada, and welcome to Showman is of Ada. The fell winter was a period of extremely cold and long-lasting weather that took place in the Third Age of Middle-earth. Today, we're going to look at the history of this event, as well as the two hard winters that preceded it. We will also look at some of the principal actors in this event, and a few heroes that stand out. So sit back and let this shield maiden be your guide into the wonderful world of Middle-earth. There were three fell or long winters that took place in the history of Middle-earth. The first was in the First Age, 495 to 496, coming directly after the fall of Nagathorn. The second took place in the Third Age, between 2758 to 2759, and was known as the Long Winter. It was during this last named one that the simple courage and determination of hobbits became known to Gandalf. For the hobbits of the Shire suffered greatly during the long winter, leaving thousands of them dead from starvation in the cold. Gandalf came to their aid the best that he could, saying of them later. And then there was the Shire folk. I began to have a warm place in my heart for them in a long winter, which none of you can remember. They were very hard put to it then, one of the worst pinches they have been in, dying of cold, starving in the dreadful dearth that followed. But that was the time to see their courage, and their pity one for another. It was by their pity, as much as by their tough, uncomplaining courage, that they survived. It was because of their courage and their hardiness that Gandalf remembered them many years later and returned to choose Bilbo to accompany him and Thorin's company on their quest, as told in the events of the Hobbit. The fair winter of 2911 and 2912 was not so terrible as the ones preceding it, certainly. Yet perhaps this is because there were friends ready to help friends, and deeds of simple courage, kindness, and heroism that shined forth during this time. The hobbits once again suffered, and not just from lack of food in the cold. The brandy wine with with her froze over, allowing packs of white wolves to cross and attack them. The hobbits sounded the horn call of Buckland, which was an emergency alarm signal calling all to aid in the case of invasion into the Shire. This call was not sounded again after this for more than a hundred years, being heard next when the Black Riders entered Buckland, and then the year after it was used by Mary Brandybuck to rouse the Shire folk against the ruffians who had taken control of the Shire. It was thanks to the efforts of Gandalf and the Rangers of the North that the hobbits were made able to brave the fair winter of the Third Age, but they brought food to the hobbits when the Shire was in dire need. Although it does not say specifically, it is likely that the rangers stayed behind the scenes, and Gandalf made the actual appearance with the food in the Shire, as the Denodyne seemed to before keeping to themselves and allowing their presence to remain mysterious. As well, although it is never exactly stated, I wonder if the rangers heeded the horn call of Buckland and walked to fight off the white wolves. Whatever the case, the peoples of Middle-earth made it through the fair winter and found spring upon them. Yet the arrival of spring did not mean that the danger was past. The heavy snows caused a dangerous amount of flooding. The city of Thorbad and Eridor was ruined and its bridge broken. Other regions of Eridor suffered greatly from flooding as well. It was also in this year, the year following the fair winter, that the present Lord of the Denodyne, Lord Arganui, died, and one might wonder if the harsh effects of the year before hastened him to his end. These winters were harsh on the peoples of Middle-earth. Amid the sufferings, we see the bravery of such as the Rangers, Gandalf, and the Hobbits. They strove to rise above their sufferings and struggle on towards greener days and more hopeful prospects. Some gave their lives, some made great sacrifices, and some lived to continue the rhythm of life and seasons. We can look to all of them for hope in our own fair winters and know that spring will come again. Thank you for joining with me today through the Ward of Otter. Please like this video, subscribe to Shield Maidens, and join us again so we can explore more of Middle-earth together. Namadier.